Raleigh Metro may be making some changes. A new study is recommending changes to service routes and Valley Metro is taking note. 10 News reporter Allison Wickline got a look at the study today and joins us live in Roanoke with the details. So Allison, when was the last time a study like this was even done? It's been 25 years since the bus routes were studied this extensively. While the study is not complete, the bus routes could happen very soon. Changes could be on the way for Valley Metro, thanks to a new study by a transit planning firm. This is still in a draft form, but we're, we're excited about what the changes will bring as far as being a more convenient, more economical, and a, and a safer transit system. The study should be completed in the next month or so. It found that certain service routes could be altered to better cater to riders. Routes could expand further into the Cave Spring and Salem area. One could run from Lewis Scale Medical Center to Carillion Roanoke Memorial. More stops could be added to the high traffic Melrose Avenue route. And more stops could be added near Valley View. Being able to access the movies or being able to access Target um, at, by, by Valley View and being able to access the airport. The study found that it would be beneficial to have some buses staying on the outskirts of downtown, so less riders are having to go downtown just to make it to their stop. And another piece of new information, ridership is not peaking in the morning, but in the mid-afternoon between the hours of 11 and 6. We sell bus rides and that's our product. And so we want to make sure that we put the best product out there for the passengers. Price says some of the changes like access to the airport and hospital routes will not cost Valley Metro anything. So it could implement them much faster than other changes. Well, later hours and weekend service were not part of the study, but Price says those are still options they're looking at. Live in Roanoke, Allison Wickline, 10 News, working for you.